Hello, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I will be drawing something originally created by AI. So, I was looking recently at my most popular video, and it's creating warrior cats with AI. And I was going to branch off of that idea, which is doing multiple. But I decided to do a speed paint of one of them because I love this one. So uh, the AI I used was Mid Journey. And the command I used was J Feather from Worry Cats with Blue J Wings plus Galaxy Background. And. Uh, I really love the result. And uh, out of four of them, the one I picked was the best one. It looked like J Feather, and it had a beautiful shading and everything. As you may notice, my art style has changed a little. Maybe not a little, maybe kind of a lot, but I've been trying to make my art style not to, uh, I don't know the word for it, but stiff. I wanted to make it look more natural. I wanted it to make any angle and make it look nice. So I feel like uh, this was a good drawing for it, testing it out, and it worked. My art style may change the next video. I'm kind of experimenting. And yeah, I'm happy at how the outlines look. Right now, I'm just kind of getting the details down because <laughs> there's a lot of them. Yet, there's not much. I love how simple they made J Feather's design, the I did, because it wasn't too complex. So right now I'm blending, making it smooth looking because that's how the original looked. And it had a very, very, like, beautiful shading that I loved. So I definitely uh, glad that I did this one because it's very unique, I'll say. Now I'm working on the eyes. Which I love the eyes because they're just so beautiful. I love the new eyes I've been doing. So as you can see, Jay Feather doesn't have blind blue eyes. It's because in Worry Cats, when he's dreaming, he's not blind. And this is kind of like a dream. So yeah. Now I'm doing the shading, which was very light shading. Touching up the wings. And then now I'm adding the stars in his fur. Because for some reason, he had stars in his fur. And I'm obsessed with those stars because it made it look, the drawing look beautiful. At first, I didn't like the stars, but later on, they looked a lot better. And I almost forgot about the blue thing above his eye. Like, he had a blue marking above his eye, which I loved. At first, I didn't, but I, looking back on it, I love it. And now, I'm doing the background. The background wasn't too complex. But I had a little bit of difficulties with the stars because I don't have a good star brush to do multiple stars, but yeah. The drawing also had blue lines. I don't know why. Yeah. But now I'm working on a shading I am obsessed with now. It's beautiful. I've never done it. But basically where you use a clipping mask on the outline layer in Photoshop, and then start doing outlines. I also made the outlines a little bit of bluer color, too. And and also, in the picture created by the AI, it made orange and blue lighting. So I thought that was interesting, but I liked it. Yeah. I'm... Uh, Changing up the stars in the background because I didn't like them. I was also working on more blending 
his fur. I also decided to redo his muzzle, the design. Anyways, here's the AI's version. I fix a few things up, like the nose. I don't like the nose on that one. And then here's my version, which in my mind, it looks really good. And I'm happy how it turned out. So I will leave a link in the description to the AI used for the original picture. And I will try to upload more often. <laughs> I haven't been doing it because I've been lacking motivation and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm thankful for anyone who made it this far and have a good rest of your day or night. Bye.